Hello YouTube, what's popping? Today we are going to do a little reaction video here on uh, your fragrance collection. I ask you to send in some video clips of your fragrance collection and I'm really excited to, uh, to see what you got in your collection, guys. Really interesting. But I just got my first vaccine shot, so if I turn into a vegetable in the middle of this video, please call 911. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with Gabriel's fragrance collection and let's see what he got in uh, his lineup hey max hope you're good man so i'm gonna get right into my short collection first on the list is dng light blue intense so this is my summer bad boy classic started off not liking this bad boy actually it has a raw egg scent about it yeah i've heard that a lot of people say that uh, it got uh, like a raw egg uh, type of scent i never felt that about this fragrance but we all uh, you know uh, we all smell different in different fragrances so but it's growing on me the scent so and is my initiation perfume this is the first perfume that i actually got so yeah still a noob second on the list my signature scent, Pakorobani Invictus. Love this bad boy. You can see by the juice. I, I like that you call uh, all the fragrances a bad boy. Summer bad boy, and that's their signature scent bad boy. I, I like that. That's funny. Almost halfway. And that's a solid fragrance uh, to have. If you like like sweet fragrances, I think that's a solid fragrance to have as a signature scent. If you're not too formal. Finishing up. So... The only reason it's not finished yet is because it's winter and I'm not, I'm not uh, wearing it. So, yeah. Third, Club Dinui Intense Men. So, you can probably guess why. I'm not gonna buy Creed Aventus. That's just too pricey for me, at least. So, yeah. I agree. Creed Aventus is not worth the price per se. There are some good alternatives. Even better than Club de Nuit Intense Man, like um, Al Haramein uh, and uh, Nishane. Loving this bad boy. An absolute beast. So far, solid collection. Let's move on. Third on the list. Um, like I said, I'm in the southern hemisphere. It's winter. Um, so this is now my go-to. So, yeah. Atsar wanted by night. Um, just got this today um, after seeing a lot of reviews and I uh, don't have an opinion on it yet. So we'll see. Never try that one. Is it good? Let me know if you like that one. I've heard some, some things about it but never tried it. This is Bari Al Oud, Oud for Glory. It's supposed to be a dupe for mfk so yeah we'll okay see with time cool cool so far so good and final last but not least on the list bentley very nice intense for men so yeah actually i'm not wearing this as much as i should it's the woody scent is a bit much for me totally agree i can't really wear that if it is not like minus degrees here in Sweden. It's fucking windy and stuff like that because I think it's almost too like alcoholic and the whiskey and the leather vibe. But uh, that's just me. So, yeah. But this is my list. Okay. Short collection of six. Solid. Very just solid. Me. Thank you, Gabriel. Let's move on to uh, the next video. This is Matt K. What was that? Oh, oh my god. You have a big collection. Oh my god, that's the glitter. I love the glittery stuff. Very nice lighting. It's, it looks like uh, in a perfume store almost. With the glittery. I like shiny things. Oh, never try that one. It seems good, okay. Oh, I see some Salvator Fergamo, some niche in the corner there. Solid, solid fragrance collection, my man, Matt. And I said moustache there. Umo, 
Salvatore Fogamma, Umo, two bent. What's that? Is that some old bottles that I haven't tried? Bentley fragrances. Matt, wh where do you get those? Is these old school Bentley or? And I see some, uh, nah, John Varados, Arts and Blue. Two, uh, five Bentley. And then we have CK1 Summer there. I think we have Asaro Chrome. I see Sean Yon 3AM. And then I don't really see there's some niche in the corner there. And that's Ancrenois Sport. Nice. And that one, I haven't tried that one. Seems solid though. Nice, okay. I didn't know what that is, but. And then we have uh, Lom. Is that Lom Ultim or something? Solid. Very nice, Matt. Very nice fragrance collection. We move on to Mohammed. Savosh. I don't know if this is a picture. What is this? Uh, no, it's just, it's, it's a, what? I don't really know, but yeah, Kuros, nice. Keep, why, why not keep it simple? Just have two fragrances, if that's what you mean by this. I don't know if it's something wrong with the video or anything, but Kuros, nice, a little bit minty, a little bit um, different type of smelling fragrance. Of course, Savage works uh, in all type of situations. You don't need anything more. Great, solid two, uh, two fragrance collection, Mohammed. Thank you for sending in. Let's see what the next one is. Next up is Richard, I think. So we just... Okay. Uh, okay, so there was... Uh, Max. Okay, so now it's Richard. Sorry that, Mohammed. I th think you have some Dior... Uh, uh, or Carbon in, in, the, in the end there. This is what I got going on here. Some Sauvage EDT. Very nice. With the deodorant to go with it. Oh! I haven't tried that. Is, is it a good combo? I guess so. Um, some Creed Aventus Cologne testers. Ah, nice. Ooh. Dior Ohm Intense. Sorry. Leighton. Office. I'll tell you what are the money ones. These are the money ones right oh. here. Oh my God. Oh, this is my Lana Wheat. My vintage Lana Wheat. Oh, you have a vintage Lanoui box dedicated to YSL. Oh my God, I'm so jealous now. My God. I think this is a 2010. Oh, the batch of the decade. <laughs> Everyone wants the Lanoui 2010. Fat sprayer. I'm jealous. Have a few of those. Oh my god, do you have a few? Give me, give me, give me. Some addition arts. That's solid. But this is what I roll with. Ooh. Five milliliter decants. Okay. Um, so that was uh, Richard, I think. Very nice fragrance collection. Very... You seem like into the, the little bit uh, more vintage ones. And I, I agree the the old school fragrances are better performing in general. Cool that you have Lanoui Long 2010 batch. That's that's pretty rare nowadays. OK, well, let's move into Evan. Startup good. Niche, niche house. Royal Oud, fantastic fragrance. We have Green Irish Tweed. We have Silver Mountain Water, Leighton and uh, Kalan, I think, or then we have, is that Sedley, I think, and Oud Ispahan, I think it's pronounced. Very nice, very expensive so far. Seems to have a, a thing for the um, Perfumes de Marley fragrances, which are very good brand, especially if you like the more sweeter and oriental spiciness. I see the uh, Penhaligon fragrance, very potent. And uh, Bald Afrique from the Swedish brand Byredo, who we did a fragrance a battle uh, with that one and Dior Om Intense two years ago, actually, on the streets of Sweden. If you want to check that, that in, I will put the link. Super nice. And uh, the last one is from Chris. Oh, that's nice. Ancre Noir. 
We have that one. I don't really know what that is. Uh, see if I can. Okay, I see some Versace Man of Fresh. I see some Amouage. I see. That's nice. Uh, I'm not super fan of, of Guerlain, but that Lom Ideal Cologne is okay because it's a little bit fresher than the Ideal. That I don't have a clue what that is. Let me know. Uh, Mancera, of course, we know Guerlain Lom Boss Classic Armani Code. Solid fragrance collection. I see uh, Sadiq Voltaire and we have the Chanel, Chanel Egoist there, I think. Ah, solid fragrance collections, everyone. Thank you very much for all you guys who send it in. If you want to, me to make more reaction videos on your fragrance collection or um, any other fragrance collection that you know, or f like reactions vi re reaction videos in general, I feel like a little gamer nerd how with this setup, but I think it's pretty fun to react to stuff. So let me know in the comment section, guys, if you enjoy these type of videos and I will make more of them. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you the next time.